Hello, OOTP. So, in this video, I'm actually going to go over how to import historical players into your league. Now, this is not going to be like a mass import. This will just be imports of single players. So let's head over to OOTP. Now, the way I'm doing this can be done in OOTP 21, 22, 23, 24, and also in 25. So the first thing you're going to do is go click on MLB, go to Transactions, and you want to be in the Free Agents tab. The next thing you want to do is click on Actions. And you will see you have Create Fictional Players, Import Historical Players, and then Delete All Free Agents. I'm going to click on Import Historical Players. It's going to pop up this box with a whole list of files. You want to click on Historical Database. This is the database that has all the historical players in it. Click Confirm and a new box is going to pop up. Now, it asks for a historical player ID. Well, where do I get that historical player ID? Well, we're going to go over here to Baseball Reference. So, on Baseball Reference, up here in the URL, you will see this G-I-V S-O-N K-I-O-1 that is his ID so I'm gonna highlight that I'm gonna copy it and now I'm gonna bring it back over here and I'm gonna put it in that is Kirk Gibson okay so what year do I want to import him in? You know, what was considered one of his best years? Once again, go back over to Baseball Reference, and it has all of his stats. So if we look down, and we see that one of his best years, he hit 290 in 1988. He hit 25 home runs, 76 RBIs, but I would say 85 is probably his best year. 29 home runs, 97 RBIs, hit 287. So I'm going to import Kirk Gibson in 1985. So back over to OOTP. I'm going to put in 1985. All right, now let's go over the rest of the options on this page. Now, you can click on this box that says Include Players in Minor League Database. Or select text file containing numerous entries. Now, if you want to create a text file... So you can mass import a whole bunch of historical players. You can create that text file. And it does show you the format. The format of lines in the file is the ID, the year, destination team. So like this is Babe Ruth, 1927, and he's going to go to Atlanta. And you want to have it with the commas because that is going to be your separator. I, so far, have never used that feature. 
but I know people that have. It takes a while to make a list if you want one. But um, it is doable to mass import historical players into your league if you want. Next, we got keep selected season statistics in player career stats. I will be 100% honest. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to guess that if you import him, that these stats are going to be his current stats. Since I'm unsure, let's click on it. We'll find out. Now, do I want to import the players into a draft pool? If you have a draft coming up and you want to have these players in your draft pool, then click this box. If you want to import them right into free agency right now, do not click it. Now, next line is base current stats on real stats or neutralized stats. I do real stats. Next is base potential reigns on peak seasons of career. Or you can go career totals, remaining years of career, or remaining peak seasons. Now this is for his potential only. For me, I'm going to leave it on peak seasons as it's going to base his potential on his peak seasons. Fielding based on three-year period, entire career, or the imported season. For me, I'm going to do imported season since I'm importing him as 1985 Kirk Gibson. Pitcher stamina, he's not a pitcher, so I'm not going to worry about that. But if you are importing a pitcher, like say you're bringing in Raggedy, he becomes a reliever, but he started out as a starter. And he had a couple good years as a starter. So you might want to import him when he was a starter so he had higher stamina. Do you want to import their real left and right splits? I usually don't touch this. Yeah, I'm importing him as... Kirk Gibson, so I want his real left and right splits. These last two options here, I do not touch. So now the next thing I'm going to do is click Import Player. It has succeeded. One player imported. And... He will be in a free agent list. So if I go up and search. I can find here is Kirk Gibson from 1985 where he was 28 years old. So Kirk Gibson has been imported into my game. All right, so that is how you do import a player into your game. You can do this in fictional games. You can do it in historical games. And if you want, you can start a game in the 2024 season and import historical players into that as well. You 
do need to have commissioner mode on. Otherwise, you will not see that option. So if commissioner mode is not active or you are in a challenge mode game, this is unavailable to you. You need to be able to play in commissioner mode for these options to show up. So that is all I have on how to import a historical player into OOTP. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, post them below. I have many other videos I have created. Please go and check those out. And I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash twins underscore 34. And I do want to thank everybody for coming and checking out this video. And y'all have a great day.